Hello there global citizens, welcome to the best, your go-to channel for intriguing countdowns. Today we're embarking on an extraordinary journey, delving into the annals of history to discover the top 10 extinct species. We'll explore their unique characteristics, habitats, and the unfortunate circumstances that led to their extinction. So, buckle up for a thrilling adventure that promises to be both enlightening and thought-provoking. Are you ready to step back in time and meet some of the most fascinating creatures that once roamed our planet? Starting our countdown at number 10, we have the dodo. This fascinating creature was a flightless bird hailing from the tropical paradise of Mauritius. Standing at about one meter tall, the dodo was a stout bird with a bulbous beak, tiny wings and fluffy feathers. Its home was the lush, forested areas of Mauritius, where it lived a life of relative tranquility until the arrival of humans. In the late 16th century, Dutch sailors landed on the island. The dodo, having never seen humans, showed no fear making it an easy target for hunting. To make matters worse, the sailors and future settlers introduced new species to the island including dogs, pigs, and monkeys, which plundered the dodo's nests. The dodo's inability to adapt to these sudden changes sealed its fate. Despite its iconic status and symbolic representation of extinction, our knowledge of the dodo is fragmented due to its rapid disappearance. Sadly, the last known dodo was seen in 1662. At number 9 we find the quagga. A remarkable creature, the quagga was a subspecies of the plains zebra, known for its distinct half-striped coat. Unlike its fully striped relatives, the quagga's stripes faded into a plain brown along its back and hindquarters, a unique feature that set it apart on the expansive plains of South Africa. Unfortunately, this striking creature fell victim to rampant hunting during the late 19th century. Its hide was highly valued, and its meat served as a source of food, leading to a rapid decline in its population. Despite the efforts of conservationists, the quagga couldn't escape its fate. The relentless hunting continued unchecked, driving the quagga to the brink of extinction. With a heavy heart we mark the year 1883 as the end of the quagga's journey. The last known individual of this subspecies died in an Amsterdam zoo, leaving behind a legacy that reminds us of the importance of preserving our world's diverse wildlife. At number 8, we have the Tasmanian Tiger. Known scientifically as the thylacine, it was a carnivorous marsupial native to Tasmania, Australia and New Guinea. The Tasmanian Tiger was a fascinating creature, donning a slender, elongated body, a head like a wolf, and a pouch like a kangaroo. Its most distinctive feature was its series of dark transverse stripes that earned it the nickname Tasmanian Tiger. However, this unique creature met an unfortunate end. The combined forces of intensive hunting, habitat encroachment, and a devastating disease led to its extinction. The thylacine was relentlessly hunted for its skin, and as human settlers expanded their reach, this marsupial's habitat shrank drastically. A disease outbreak in the late 19th century delivered the final blow to the dwindling population. The last Tasmanian tiger died in captivity in 1936. A poignant reminder of the damage human actions can inflict on our planet's diverse wildlife. Coming in at number 7, we have the Passenger Pigeon. This creature was once the epitome of avian abundance in North America, with their flocks so dense and extensive, they could darken the sky for hours, even days as they passed. However, such grandeur was not destined to last. The Passenger Pigeon's decline was as dramatic as its previous abundance. The primary cause? Mass hunting. With the expansion of European settlers, these birds were hunted on an industrial scale. Their ease of capture and the palatability of their flesh made them a popular source of cheap food. Yet, the relentless hunting proved too much for the passenger pigeon. Their numbers dwindled rapidly, and conservation efforts came too late to halt their slide into extinction. The last known of its kind, a passenger pigeon named Martha, lived out her final days in a Cincinnati zoo. In the year 1914, Martha passed away, marking the end of her species. The last passenger pigeon named Martha died in a Cincinnati Zoo in 1914. At number 6, we meet the Caribbean monk seal. Once the only seal native to the Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico, this fascinating creature was an intriguing blend of unique characteristics. Known for its distinctive monk-like appearance, with a rounded head and sleek body, the Caribbean monk seal was an agile swimmer and skilled hunter. Its natural habitat was a tropical paradise. But for the monk seal, it became a perilous battleground. The primary reasons for this species' extinction were hunting for oil and overfishing. 
The seal's blubber was a valuable source of oil, leading to its unchecked hunting by humans. Overfishing on the other hand, left the seal with depleted food resources. This tragic tale of the Caribbean monk seal is a stark reminder of the severe consequences of human interference in natural ecosystems. The last confirmed sighting of a Caribbean monk seal was in 1952, marking its sad departure from our world. Halfway through our list at number 5, we find the Great Auk. This majestic creature was a large, flightless bird that once thrived in the chilly waters of the North Atlantic. With its unique black and white plumage and a beak designed for catching fish, the Great Auk was a sight to behold. However, like many beautiful creatures, the Great Auk fell victim to human greed. It was massively hunted for its feathers, meat, and even eggs. Its docile nature and inability to fly made it an easy target. The birds were often found on remote islands during the breeding season, making them an all-too-convenient resource for sailors and hunters. But human hunting wasn't the only nail in the coffin for the great auk. Climate change leading to alterations in their natural habitat and food supply played a significant role in their downfall. The last pair of great auks was seen in 1844 marking the end of an era for this remarkable bird. At number 4, we have the Stellar's Sea Cow. This magnificent creature was a large marine mammal that once thrived in the cool, nutrient-rich waters of the North Pacific. Measuring up to 30 feet in length, the Stellar Sea Cow was an impressive sight to behold. Named after the German naturalist Georg Wilhelm Steller, who first documented its existence in the mid-18th century, this gentle giant subsisted on a diet of kelp and seaweed, leading a peaceful life in the ocean's shallows. Despite its size and strength, the stellar sea cow was no match for the threats posed by human activity. Its docile nature and slow speed made it an easy target for hunters, who prized its meat, skin, and fat. Additionally, its habitat was gradually eroded due to increasing human encroachment and environmental changes. These combined pressures led to the tragic demise of this unique species. The last known stellar sea cow was seen in 1768 a haunting reminder of the irreversible impact of our actions on the world's biodiversity. Coming in at number 3, we have the Baiji River Dolphin. A freshwater inhabitant of China's Yangtze River, the Baiji River Dolphin, also known as the Chinese River Dolphin, is a heartbreaking example of extinction. This graceful creature, once revered in Chinese folklore as the goddess of the Yangtze, fell victim to a rapidly modernizing world. The Baiji River Dolphin's demise was a grimly predictable consequence of pollution, overfishing and habitat loss. Industrial waste and plastic debris poisoned the waters, while overfishing depleted the dolphin's primary food sources. Unabated human activity such as dam construction and increased river traffic led to a catastrophic loss of habitat, pushing these dolphins to the brink and eventually beyond. Despite conservation efforts, the Baiji River Dolphin couldn't withstand the relentless onslaught on its home and food supply. Tragically, the last confirmed sighting of this aquatic mammal was in 2006, marking the end of an era. The last Baiji River Dolphin was seen in 2006. At number 2 we find the Pyrenean Ibex. This unique creature was a type of wild goat that once roamed the rocky slopes of the Pyrenees, a mountain range that straddles the border between France and Spain. With their agile bodies and strong curved horns, they were masters of their rugged terrain. But despite their physical prowess, the Pyrenean ibex couldn't escape the threats that eventually led to their extinction. The first of these was hunting. For centuries these goats were hunted for their meat and their beautiful pelts, causing their numbers to dwindle drastically. Then came the spread of diseases, introduced by domesticated livestock. These diseases, foreign to the Pyrenean ibex, swept through their populations, further depleting their numbers. Despite various conservation efforts, these challenges proved too great for the Pyrenean ibex to overcome. And so, in the early days of the new millennium, the last Pyrenean ibex died, marking the end of this species. The last Pyrenean ibex died in 2000. And finally at number one we have the Pinta Island tortoise. This species, native to the Galapagos Islands, is perhaps most famous for its last known member, aptly named Lonesome George. This resilient tortoise was a symbol of survival in an ever-changing world, living to the ripe old age of over 100 years. The Pinta Island tortoise was a casualty of human interference in their habitat. In the 19th century sailors found the tortoises to be a convenient source of fresh meat, and took many aboard their ships. This hunting, combined with the introduction of non-native species such as goats, 
which gobbled up the vegetation the tortoises relied on, led to a rapid decline in their numbers. Despite conservation efforts, by the time Lonesome George was discovered in 1971, it was too late to save the species. The Pinta Island tortoise serves as a poignant reminder of the impact of human actions on the natural world. Lonesome George, the last Pinta Island tortoise, passed away in 2012. And there you have it folks, a journey through time unveiling 10 extinct species, each with their unique stories forever etched in the annals of nature. Their disappearance a stark reminder of the delicate balance that exists within our world. We hope you enjoyed this trek into the past as much as we did. Don't forget to subscribe to The Best for more fascinating content, and hit that bell icon to never miss an update. Until next time, keep exploring.